Hello, my name is Rachel Adra and I'm the volunteer coordinator for the therapeutic writing program of Carroll County. You've probably already been communicating with me via email about volunteering with our program. Thank you so much for choosing to volunteer with the therapeutic writing program of Carroll County. I promise that you will find it to be extremely rewarding. You will be attending the actual volunteer training either this evening, Thursday, or tomorrow, Friday at 5 p.m. at our therapeutic writing barn. If you are unable to attend those lessons, please, when you come to your first lesson, let the instructor know that you were not able to attend training. So they'll go over with you what you need to know. Um, so we're just gonna talk about what you're gonna do when you arrive at the barn and you're gonna park outside the fence and walk in. When you come in the door, there's gonna be a table there with some notebooks on it and also some markers and name tags. You're gonna write your name on a name tag and you're gonna see these notebooks. First is the Therapeutic Writing Program of Carroll County Volunteer Sign-In Notebook. So you're gonna open that and you're gonna go to your day and it will have your instructor's name at the top and the date. You're going to write your name and the time you come in and then when you leave you're going to write your time out. This will be for every lesson. Then if you are doing this and keeping track of your service learning hours, there's a tab here at the back for service learning hour forms. Each volunteer will have their own form. So just write your name at the top. You'll keep this form with you through the whole session. And you're going to write your dates, time in, time out, and number of hours. So we can keep the total number of hours for you. Then you will give that to the person at your school that keeps track of all of that. If at some point you know you're not going to be able to make a class ahead of time, at the bottom of the volunteer sign-in sheet, you go to that date. So let's say you weren't gonna be able to make the class on September 8th. You would go to that class and you would write your name down at the bottom of each class you're not gonna be able to attend. That allows our instructors to know um, if one of you aren't gonna be there at the class. Okay. It's really important that once you sign up for to volunteer with us that you are reliable. So if you're going to come, please come a little bit ahead of time, even if it's just a few minutes. We prefer 15 minutes early. Um, a lot of times if you can come early, we can use your help with tacking up the horses and leading them in. Um, if you can't make it to a class, it's really important that you let us know because the instructors have to decide what they're gonna be able to do for that class depending upon how many volunteers they have. If you arrive at the barn and no one is there, please do not go into the stalls um, to be with the horses at all. No one is allowed to be in the stalls unless the instructor is in there or has told you to do this. Please wear comfortable clothing. Um, we don't recommend that you wear um, jewelry um, just because accidents can happen. And also keep your perfume limited. Um, we do not want you wearing loafers or sandals or loose fitting uh, shoes. Please wear closed toed shoes with socks and um, just appropriate clothing for the weather in the barn. Anything of value should be left in your car, um, in your locked car. We are not responsible for items left behind in the barn or the stalls. Um, at that front table where you see the notebooks, you can leave your keys and water bottles and cell phones there if you feel comfortable doing that. Please leave your cell phone either in your car or on the front table. Um, we do not want you having your cell phone out in the barn 
I cannot tell you the number of times I have seen people drop their phones and it be in the way of a horse's hoof. So please leave your cell phone on the table. That also allows you to give full concentration to your volunteer experience. Um, there's a porta potty right outside by the stalls if you need it. We also have hand sanitizer available on that front table. Lessons are rarely canceled because we are we do have an indoor barn and we can close the doors. Um, but if Carroll County Public Schools are closed or closed early due to the weather or the Carroll County Snow Emergency Plan is, is in effect, lessons are canceled. If for some reason we do need to cancel lessons for another reason, we will attempt to notify you. If you have a question, you can always email me or email your instructor um, or um, the registrar, Joe North. Um, you can also call the barn if you have a question. Um, that's pretty much everything that I need to go over with you. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me or call. Um, I'm going to be sending out an email later today with some phone numbers that you'll need um, in case there's a problem and you need to call someone. Um, also, I'm going to be sending out your volunteer schedule, which will tell you the day and time that you need to be at the barn. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's very informal, but because we're having two separate classes, we thought this might be a little easier to go over the paperwork part um, via video. So we really look forward to working with you. Um, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. You're doing an amazing thing for our community.